Hey everyone, and welcome back to Fun Facts! Today, we're setting sail across the vast Pacific Ocean to a mysterious and remote island, Easter Island, to learn about the iconic Moai statues. The Moai are giant human figures carved from volcanic rock. But these aren't just any statues, they can weigh up to 80 tons and stand over 30 feet tall. That's about the height of a three-story building. Carved by the Rapa Nui people, Easter Island's original inhabitants, between 1250 and 1500 AD, there are nearly 1,000 Moai scattered around the island. But interestingly, most of them, around 95%, are found at Reino Araku, an extinct volcanic crater that served as the main quarry. While the exact purpose of the Moai remains a bit of a mystery, archaeologists believe they were created to honor important figures, like chiefs and ancestors. They were thought to embody the spirit of the living or deceased person and channel their mana, or spiritual energy, to protect and bring prosperity to the community. Interestingly, those distinctive red hats some Moai wear aren't actually hats. These are called pukeo and were carved from a different type of volcanic rock. They're believed to represent elaborate hairstyles or headwear worn by chiefs. We mentioned Reino Raraku as the main quarry for the Moai, but there's more to this place than meets the eye. Reino Raraku wasn't just a source of rock, it was a massive workshop where the Moai were carved. Imagine a giant sculpture studio filled with unfinished Moai in various stages of creation. Archaeologists have found hundreds of Moai here, in all shapes and sizes. Some are just heads, some are completed figures still attached to the bedrock, and others are scattered around the quarry floor, abandoned for unknown reasons. Reino Raraku offers a glimpse into the remarkable carving techniques and dedication of the Rapa Nui people. But among these majestic statues stands one figure that captures the imagination like no other, the Paro. Towering at a staggering 33 feet tall and weighing over 80 tons, the Paro is the largest Moai ever erected on Easter Island. The restored Moai silhouetted against the setting sun creates a truly unforgettable image. It's a powerful reminder of the Rapa Nui people's connection to both the land and the sea. Here's a surprising fact, most Moai don't actually face the ocean, as many pictures show. They typically face inward, towards the center of the island, standing on giant stone platforms, called Ahu. One of the most iconic Ahu is Ahu Tangariki, located on the southeastern coast of Easter Island. It boasts 15 Moai standing tall, facing the vast Pacific Ocean. Ahu Tangariki is one of the most iconic sites on Easter Island. So next time you see a picture of Moai facing the vast ocean, remember, that's not quite how they were originally positioned. Sadly, around the 16th or 17th century, Moai production ceased, and the Rapa Nui civilization experienced a decline. There are many theories about why this happened, including resource depletion, warfare, and environmental damage. Some believe the Rapa Nui people may have cut down too many trees to move the Moai, which could have led to soil erosion and difficulty growing food. Others propose that internal conflicts and competition for resources may have led to the breakdown of social order. The exact reasons remain a mystery, but the Moai stand is a silent testament to a fascinating civilization and their remarkable achievements. Today, Easter Island, also known as Rapa Nui, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Rapa Nui people are working hard to preserve their culture and heritage. Many Moai have been restored and re-erected on their Ahu platforms. Tourism plays a vital role in the island's economy, and visitors can explore the Moai statues, hike the volcanic craters, and learn about the Rapa Nui way of life. Easter Island remains an enigmatic and beautiful place, a reminder of the ingenuity and challenges faced by past civilizations. Thanks for joining us on this exploration of the Moai of Easter Island. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more fun facts. Let us know in the comments below what other historical mysteries you'd like to explore.